everybody, welcome back youtube.com slash gigloud for another Let's Install. Today it is Arkanoid Eternal Battle's turn. Why I hear you ask? Because it's currently on sale. I love being able to use the arcade stick on shooters and, you know, anything 2D, anything that reminds me of the arcade, I love it. Microsoft are apparently in the process of going through and nuking all third-party non-licensed peripherals, so I'm worried my dongle's going to stop working, but... For the next, uh, where does it say, nine days, you can get 85% on that tile. That's what we're doing today. I've picked it up for $4.49. It's on sale and it's Arkanoid. How can you possibly go wrong? So I've forked over the cash. Now let's fork over the bandwidth. Uh, I will go ahead and hit suspend my game. Anytime suspend my game comes up, you should definitely hit it because it will increase your download bandwidth by about five times or five X. So Arkanoid Eternal Battle on the Xbox Series X comes in at a mere 714.52 megabytes. And it's Arkanoid, as you would expect. Standard, you know, paddle on the bottom, ball comes up and down, smash the bricks. Depending on the colour of the brick, you've got to hit it a few times. Clear all the blick, clear all the bricks, and you clear uh, the level. Sorry, I've left it on pause. Let's go ahead and resume that download. And as we always do here on the Let's Install series, my God, this is racketing in real quick. I love it. Uh, we will jump on into the game. We'll jump on into the settings menu. See what settings and options are available. See if there's any recommendations. Uh, we'd recommend tweaking. But other than that, we'll verify that the arcade stick does in in fact work as it has been for many years until Microsoft are threatening to start blowing things up. I don't like it, Microsoft. Cut it out. You used to be for the gamers. What happened? All right, here we go. Let's boot up Arkanoid Eternal Battle. As I said, we will verify that the arcade stick works as I fully expect it will. And it's a fantastic option for anyone out there with old man hands. For me, if I'm hitting L1, R1 or on an Xbox, LB, RB these days, it really hurts my hands the following day. So being able to substitute a standard controller in for something like an arcade stick, I can continue on my merry way playing many games and not being in constant pain for it. Oh, look at that. I even love that 80s sort of fluoro flash up they've got. Now, what we are looking for is some sort of options menu. Here we go. Controller sensitivity, I'll leave that as is for now. Vibration, the arcade stick doesn't support vibration, so I don't need to worry about that. Music volume, sound effects volume, and language, nothing there worth changing. But while we're here, We'll just jump on in real quickly and we'll just show you one battle just to verify that the stick works as intended. Uh, get a little taste of uh, how the game looks and feels. But of course you can see the arcade stick beautifully running me along the bottom and just bouncing the ball as you would expect. At some point I would expect there to be, I don't know, maybe a few bricks on top. Uh, and we'll get through waiting for other players. Oh, I see what's happening. I didn't realize this was an online multiplayer game. Maybe I should go back and hit retro. I'm going to do exactly that. Let's get some enemies on the screen and not have to wait. We'll try retro, shall we? Oh, look at this. This does look retro. I love it. Let's jump on in past all the preamble. Here we go. I think they gave that one to me. I don't think I quite earned that bounce. Oh, yeah. <laughs> As you can see, it clearly works. I need a little bit more time to refresh myself on how to preempt where that ball's going, but we don't need any more time to pull up the particulars and wrap up this here Let's Install. Once the data populates, I will be able to tell you that the current version is version 1.0.4.0, and that is a full and complete install size of 714.5 megabytes. As I said, the game's currently on sale in Australia for $4.49. If you like your Arkanoid, chances are that will be money well spent. Thank you very much for watching another Let's Install right here on Geek Loud. Do check out the rest of the channel. An entire series of Let's Install going back over five years. Also, the Gaming Enforcement Agency, where we show you our gameplay and discuss our hands-on thoughts and impressions of the games we've been playing. What else can you do with Geek Loud? Like it, subscribe it, you'll never miss it.
Simple donkey. <laughs> 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 